The moment Maximus appeared, all eyes were focused on him. The heavenly ancient secret realm would be open for three years at most. Now, there was less than half a year left until that deadline. If it wasn't for the fact that the heavenly ancient secret realm hadn't closed yet, many people would have thought that this guest chamberlain of the Sardinia family had fallen within the realm. They had never dreamed that he would enter the inner sanctum of the giant mountain. Of course, there were also experts who believed that the reason the ancient heavenly secret realm was still open was because the experts of their own factions had yet to return. Timo was one of them. No matter what, Timo was unwilling to believe that his own brother Baltini, a peak third calamity true god who was only a step away from becoming a fourth calamity true god, would die in the heavenly ancient secret realm. But now, with Maximus's return, the heavenly ancient secret realm closed immediately. Timo and the others could no longer lie to themselves. Ha <laughs> ha! Maximus was in the heavenly ancient secret realm for quite some time. I'm sure he has gained a lot. Bratislav spoke first with a smile plastered on his face. However, Maximus didn't see any kindness in Bratislav's eyes. Instead, there was a trace of coldness. Maximus's heart turned and he immediately understood. This Bratislav was a man who prioritized his own interests. Now that his strength had increased by leaps and bounds, he was afraid that Bratislav would feel uneasy. However, Maximus had to put these thoughts aside. He was going to leave Divine Might City anyway. He cupped his hands toward Bratislav. Then he smiled and said, I'm afraid I've only gained a modest amount. But you were in that huge mountain for quite a long time, Bratislav interjected. His words attracted the attention of many experts. Maximus shrugged. I have only discovered a place that is beneficial to the growth of one's internal strength base. The rest of my time I spent cultivating. As for the area within the enormous mountain, there are many level five or six vicious beasts there. Why would I dare to venture deeper? The experts nodded. Only then did it make sense. Maximus had found a safe place to cultivate, and that's where he had been the past few months. Some of the experts, who felt that Maximus might enter a deeper level to obtain treasures, finally realized just how ridiculous their previous thoughts were. A fourth tribulation true god like him simply couldn't accomplish such a feat without facing certain death. Timo spoke at this time. Sir, have you seen my little brother? Maximus's heart trembled. He swept his gaze over Lemmy and Rosalina and found that their expressions were still relatively calm. He knew that the two of them had not revealed anything to Timo. Thinking about this, Maximus's expression did not change, and he said with a faint hint of doubt, May I know who is City Lord's younger brother? Baltini. Timo responded. He stretched out his hand and pointed. Baltini's face appeared in the void in the form of a light projection. Maximus shook his head, then demurred. I did not see him in the heavenly ancient secret realm. Timo was disappointed. Could it be that his brother was killed by a third grade ferocious beast or even a level four ferocious beast? However, Baltini had clearly said that he would try his best not to get close to the mountain. Timo furrowed his brows. He explained, I have already planted a special demonic valley secret technique, the heavenly demon seal, in Baltini's body. It can display the scene before Baltini's death. But Baltini died in the heavenly ancient secret realm. He was isolated from the outside world. With my current fourth tribulation true god internal strength base, I cannot summon the Heavenly Demon Seal to find the culprit. I'll have to wait until my internal strength base breaks through to the Sixth Tribulation True God level. Looks like I can only ask for help from my sect. He thought for a moment before continuing. It just so happens that one of the senior most members of the sect has recently come to a nearby region to attend to some matters. 
I'll send a message now, and he'll be able to reach Divine Might City in half a day at most. I would like to see if my brother was really killed by the fierce beasts, or was plotted against by others. If it's the latter, then this person will face the revenge of the Pan family. Timo's expression became colder and fiercer as he spoke. But for now, Maximus had returned, and according to the rules, he had to give two-thirds of the natural treasures to the Sardinia family. He opened the storage ring, and a large pile of divine herbs, divine plants, and other natural treasures appeared in front of everyone. Bratislav's eyes were burning with passion. With so many rare items, he could concoct at least a hundred true god pills. In other words, in a short period of time, more than a hundred true gods could be produced amid the Sardinia family. What Bratislav and the others didn't know was that Maximus had only obtained a small portion of the natural treasures. Most of them had been placed in the Nine Flames Fire Tower storage space, where they could never be found. With the divine herbs in my body, as long as I can obtain a certain amount of malefic beads, I can definitely concoct quite a number of true divine pills. Maximus mused to himself excitedly. It was about time for his family and friends in the Grey Cloud Divine Hall's miniature world to break through to the true god level. The trial of the ancient heavenly secret realm was finally over, and all the great powers returned to their respective families. Maximus was invited back to the Sardinia family territory, but he had already planned to leave, and he secretly transmitted his voice to Rosalina and Lemmy. Both of them were shocked, but they also felt that Maximus's wish was reasonable. With his strength, Divine Might City had become a constraining place. Only by going to a wider world could he develop further. Lemmy did not have any love for the Sardinia family, and quickly agreed. On the contrary, Rosalina was a little hesitant. Even if her father did not value her, even if she was just a tool for marriage in her father's eyes, she had still been born in the Sardinia family and had stayed in the Sardinia family for so many years. No matter what, she could not leave just like that. Sir, can you give me a few days to think about it? Rosalina ventured carefully. Sure. Maximus replied, using divine sense. It was only a matter of time before they left. There was no harm in waiting for a few more days. Meanwhile, late at night, a figure appeared in the sky above City Lord's mansion. Senior Brother Telamon, please forgive me for not welcoming you, Timo declared, quickly flying out to greet the Elder. The figure's voice was hoarse as he ventured. So what do you need? I still have other matters to attend to. Timo told the whole story. So that's how it is. Hand over your heavenly demon seal, Telamon stated faintly. The man named Telamon received Timo's heavenly demon seal and waved his hands repeatedly, forming numerous complicated hand seals. As the hand seals were formed, a surging aura surrounded him. Telamon had tried his best to restrain himself, but it still caused Timo, a mighty fourth tribulation true god, to lose his breath. Timo was shocked. So this is the aura of a peak six tribulation true god, half a step into the seventh tribulation true god realm. So strong, he could not help but declare. Soon, the hand seal of Telamon was fully unleashed, and a screen of light suddenly appeared in front of him. The screen flashed with the scene of Baltini's death. Timo's eyes fell on the screen. Instantly, his face turned red from anger, and blue veins popped out on his forehead. It's actually him! Timo roared. The perpetrator was clearly Maximus. When I asked this guy earlier, he tried to deceive me. I will make him suffer a fate worse than death, Timo shrieked as killing intent oozed from every pore. Telamon stared at the light screen with his eyes fixed on it. He was so excited that he wanted to die. <laughs> it didn't take me much effort to get to the truth, 
he stated excitedly. Senior brother, this... Timo began to speak, but was too stunned to go on. He had never seen senior brother Telemon lose his composure like this before. Telemon excitedly patted Timo's shoulder, then added, Junior brother, you are really my lucky star. You have made a great contribution this time. Perhaps you will be able to return to the Demonic Valley and advance to the Seventh Tribulation True God Realm in the future. What? Timo was shocked. The reason he left the Demonic Valley was because he had offended a senior brother. If it wasn't for the fact that Timo had a powerful backer behind him, he surely would have been sought out and killed by now. But now, he was told that not only did he have a chance to return to the Demonic Valley, but he also had a chance to become a Seventh Tribulation true god in the future. Timo was shocked. If he could become a Seventh Tribulation true god, what did that senior brother have to fear? A Seventh Tribulation true god could become a high-ranking member of the Demonic Valley. However, what exactly was this contribution Telamon was referring to? Timo was confused. Telamon smiled and pointed at Maximus on the screen. Do you know who this person is? He queried. Timo's face darkened. He is the enemy of my younger brother, he exclaimed. Then, Timo realized that Telamon had lost his composure because of Maximus. His facial expression changed. Could it be that this kid has some powerful backer? Telamon shook his head. I don't know. I only know that he is wanted by a true god of the Green Cloud faction. If we capture this brat and give him to this person, not only us, but also our demonic valley as a whole will obtain a lot of benefits. Timo was first shocked by the mention of the Green Cloud faction, for this was a second level power that was far more formidable than any in this region. The demonic valley sounded domineering by its name, but it was a puny presence in the eastern region. The two sides were on completely different levels. Telamon saw through Timo's doubt. He stated indifferently, This true god I am talking about advanced to become a heavenly general true god not long ago. Timo's body trembled, and his face was filled with shock. If a heavenly general true god had issued this arrest warrant, then surely the entire Green Cloud sect would be intent on finding the wanted man. Even the surrounding factions had likely felt moved to participate in the search. The only entity that could ignore such a call was a power like the Heaven and Earth sect of the Azure Province. This was a superpower that was not only ranked first in the Eastern Territories, but also one of the three great overlords of the entire continent. Telamon went on excitedly. Actually, this wanted poster has been circulating for a few years. It's a pity that the true god had yet to break through to become a heavenly general true god at that time. Our cloud state is far away, so we didn't pay much attention to it. And now that the true god has advanced to become a heavenly general, the demonic valley sent us to search the cloud state, hoping to find the wanted man and reap the reward. Staring at the screen, Telamon had a crazed expression on his face. He went on, I really didn't expect it. The divine world is so huge. The likelihood of this kid ascending to the eastern region is only one in five. The possibility of him ascending to our cloud state is even smaller. But that is where he ended up. And now I've even discovered him. The heavens want me to make a great contribution. And the heavens also want our demonic valley sect to rise to the upper echelons of the continent. Timo was also excited. He rubbed his fists and said, We can't delay any longer. Let's go and get Maximus. Telamon waved his hand and interrupted Timo, countering in a calm manner. No! This is a matter of utmost importance. We can't afford to be careless. According to the wanted poster, this brat was a little difficult to deal with. 
What if he has some means to escape? You also know that these true divinities that ascend from the lower planes all have some hidden abilities. If we discover this brat and let him escape in the end, then we will suffer a great loss. He cleared his throat, then explained. I have a fourth calamity true god weapon array disc in my possession. It's useless to me, but it's different for you. If you join forces with the other four calamity true gods of Divine Might City, you'll only need five of them to work together to activate this array disc. At that time, all you need to do is draw him into the array disc's range. Unless this brat's combat strength surpasses that of a fourth calamity true god and reaches the level of a fifth calamity true god, he absolutely won't be able to escape. As for me, I'll stand guard outside. It would be best if this Maximus was caught by you. But if he has the ability to escape, then I'll be able to catch him off guard outside and heavily injure him. Tima was stunned for a moment. His expression became serious as he received the formation disc. He was overjoyed in his heart. It seemed Telamon wanted him to get the credit for this sensational capture. Of course, Telamon had his own considerations in coming up with this scheme. Since ancient times, those who were able to ascend from the lower planes had truly mutated bloodlines and thus possessed exceptional bloodline power. However, there were also some who had fortuitous encounters in this plane. For example, obtaining the legacy of a certain super expert was not uncommon. As a peak true god of the Sixth Calamity, half a step into the Seventh Calamity, Telamon had already cultivated for a long time. His talent was not great, so it took him hundreds of thousands of years to cultivate to this step. In hundreds of thousands of years, he had seen too many powerhouses from the lower planes rise up in power. For instance, there was once a fourth great power in the Cloud State, but this entity had vanished into thin air, and the one who destroyed the sect was an ascendant from the lower planes. Telamon was a bit sketchy on the details, because he had been a low-level warrior when it happened. But he knew that this ascendant was not exceptional in any way, yet even high-level true gods in this world could not capture him. Logically speaking, ascenders should be easy to capture and kill, but the truth was that the Ascender had escaped several times. Tens of thousands of years later, this Ascender from the Lower Plane rose at an astonishing speed, eventually becoming an ancient god and wiping out that faction. Telamon was reminded of this infamous event as he pondered Maximus, who had already risen to the Fourth Tribulation True God level. What would he be capable of in the future? a Sixth Tribulation true god that had lived for hundreds of thousands of years was on a completely different level from a Fourth Tribulation true god that had lived for less than a hundred years. Surely, this Maximus fellow had some tricks up his sleeve. Telamon coldly looked at the excited Timo, who had lost his composure. He sneered in his heart. Let me see just what kind of trump card that brat has. Telamon had already made up his mind. If Timo really succeeded in capturing that Maximus, he would just snatch the credit for himself. Timo wouldn't dare to resist. On the other hand, if the opponent revealed a trump card that he, a Sixth Tribulation true god, couldn't resist, he could just send the news back to the sect, and the Demonic Valley experts would take action. The next day, in the Sardinia family compound, an elder politely entreated Maximus. Sir, the Patriarch would like to discuss something with you. The family head, Maximus repeated, inadvertently raising his eyebrows. Wasn't that guy afraid of him now? Why did he invite him to discuss something with him? What is it? Maximus queried casually. 
Then, deep in thought, he stood up and followed the Sardinia family officer. After a while, he realized they were going to some remote place, as the crowds had thinned out and they were essentially alone. Something's not right, Maximus stated in his heart. If there was a matter to discuss, why didn't they go to where Bratislav lived? Maximus stopped. When the Sardinia family officer saw that his charge was frozen, he became a little anxious. Gus Chamberlain, if we don't arrive soon, the family head will be anxious. Maximus crossed his arms in front of his chest. At this time, is there still a need to hide? What tricks are you playing? When the Sardinia family officer saw that he had been seen through, the nervousness and anxiety on his face immediately disappeared without a trace. What replaced it was a trace of ferociousness. Die! The Sardinia family officer screamed as he suddenly rushed toward Maximus, and a dagger appeared in his hand. It was a divine weapon. At the same time, an incomparably terrifying aura erupted from the Sardinia family officer's body. He was only a step away from becoming a fourth tribulation true god. You are not affiliated with the Sardinia family. Maximus's expression was stern as he blurted out. With such strength, he was definitely an elder of Divine Might City. It was impossible for him to be a mere family guard. The divine essence of a fourth tribulation true god surged out crazily. Maximus waved his palm, sending a powerful divine essence toward his opponent. Immediately, his opponent began to wheeze and was sent flying. His divine body almost collapsed. This expert, who was pretending to be a Sardinia family officer, had a stunned expression on his face. He had yet to get close, and the divine weapon dagger in his hand had yet to unleash its full power, but he was already heavily injured. Wasn't Maximus just a newly ascended fourth tribulation true god? How could he be so powerful? The corners of Maximus's mouth curled up slightly. Did this guy think his realm was unstable because he had just advanced to the fourth tribulation true god realm? What a joke. He had absorbed so much energy at the Divine Sea. Although it wasn't enough for him to break through, it would be far too easy for the internal strength base at the early period of the Fourth Tribulation True Divinity to stabilize. Moreover, the quality of his Divine Essence was as high as the Fifth Grade, far surpassing what a Fourth Tribulation True God should have. When he put all the pieces together, the result was an enigma. Just as he was about to continue attacking, Maximus suddenly retreated. Several experts suddenly appeared, all of them bombarding the point where Maximus had originally been standing. They were all only a step away from the Fourth Tribulation. Soon after, more and more experts appeared, many of them familiar figures. These were elders from the Five Great Powers. Maximus could recognize their prestige immediately. The five great powers have gathered, Maximus mused as his face darkened slightly. He immediately understood that perhaps the news of him killing Baltini had been leaked. Only the Pan family had the ability to gather so many experts. Come out, do you all think that you can kill me with just these third level true gods? Maximus said faintly to his surroundings. Although his divine soul couldn't sense anything, these people were undoubtedly around him. My divine soul is only a step away from the fifth stage, and I know there's something strange about this place, he continued. However, at this moment, Maximus sensed an orb that contained a terrifying energy coming toward him from the right. Divine Flame Battle Fist! Maximus threw a punch at it. When the two energy orbs collided, a violent energy rushed out crazily. Maximus and his opponent retreated dozens of yards. Maximus's fist was in pain, and a thin layer of ice appeared on it. Although there was only a thin layer of ice, it froze the surrounding air. One of the leaders of the Five Great Powers, only the Patriarch of the Peel family has the ice attribute. That must be him, Maximus mused aloud, shaking the layer of ice from his hand. The violent energy in the air gradually dissipated. 
Maximus looked over and saw that it was indeed the patriarch of the Peel family. The Peel family head also looked at Maximus with some surprise. He was a mighty peak mid-fourth calamity true god, but he was actually unable to do anything to this interloper who had just broken through. This child is not simple. He does indeed have the ability to fight someone of a higher level. The Peel family head smiled faintly as he uttered. As soon as the Peel family head finished speaking, Bratislav appeared beside him. His expression was also grave. He advised, Everyone, don't be careless. When this kid was a mid-second calamity true god realm, he defeated a late-stage third calamity true god. Next, the Stone family patriarch appeared out of nowhere and sneered, then relayed, a fourth calamity true god is not comparable to a second calamity true god or a third calamity true god. They have already stepped into the ranks of mid-tier true gods. Even if this kid could fight a third tribulation true god, well, he was still a second tribulation true god, the same pattern won't hold. It's unlikely he'll be able to fight a high-level fourth tribulation martial artist. Timo, meanwhile, gritted his teeth and stared coldly at Maximus, as if he were looking at a dead man. He spat out, Brat, you killed my younger brother and hid it. Today, I will let you know the consequences of offending the Pan family. Facing the encirclement of five Fourth Tribulation True Gods and dozens of Third Tribulation True Gods, Timo didn't think Maximus had any chance of escaping. Sardinia family master, what you're doing is not sincere, Maximus reasoned. Bratislav coldly snorted. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself for offending someone you should not have offended. Bratislav had indeed thought of obtaining benefits from Maximus, but Maximus's growth was too fast, and it had already threatened his position in the Sardinia family. Further, Timo had already promised him a wealth of benefits if he aided in the capture of Maximus. How could the greedy man refuse? The Demonic Valley was one of three major powers in the Cloud Prefecture, after all. It was just like how he had abandoned Nyon in order to win Maximus over. From Bratislav's point of view, Maximus might have a great power backing him, but it was definitely incomparable to the Demonic Valley. At the same time, Bratislav was still ignorant to the fact that Maximus had ascended from a lower plane. Bratislav, don't forget your promise, Timo reminded him carefully. Don't worry, once we catch this kid, the upper echelons of the Demonic Valley will reward you handsomely and help you break through to the Fifth Tribulation True God Realm. In the future, the disciples of your four families will also have the qualifications to participate in the Demonic Valley Disciple Test, he added in a serious tone. The other family head's eyes were burning with passion. All their gazes were fixed on Maximus. It was as if the person in front of them was not a true god, but some delicious meal. Facing everyone's gazes, Maximus's expression did not change. He pressed, Do you really think you can capture me just because you have a lot of people? If I want to leave, you can't stop me. Timo burst into laughter. How could I not be prepared for this? Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation, activate! A large amount of devilish energy surged out of the ground and surrounded everyone. The devilish energy overflowed into the sky. In an instant, it was as if the surrounding 10,000 yards had entered some other dimension. They were completely shrouded in pitch black smoke. Timo said complacently, the heavenly cloud demonic disc is a fifth calamity divine tool. It can be used to cast the heavenly cloud demonic formation and encompass the surrounding 10,000 yards. Within this formation, it's like you're in another dimension. Unless you break through the formation, you won't be able to escape. In the face of so many powerful experts like me, do you think you have a second option? Maximus looked at the heavenly cloud demon formation. He could no longer see the sky. He could only see black smoke. So that's how it is, 
It's the heavenly cloud demonic formation that prevented my divine soul from discovering these people before. Maximus uttered. Not only that, he also discovered that his internal strength base and divine soul were slightly suppressed the moment the heavenly cloud demon formation was activated. His divine soul, which was originally infinitely close to the fifth stage, was now only equivalent to that of an ordinary fourth stage upper grade true god. Fortunately, my divine essence quality is extremely high. Otherwise, the internal strength base would definitely drop to the ordinary fourth tribulation. At that time, dealing with the overlords of these powers would be somewhat troublesome, Maximus mused to himself. In the end, the heavenly cloud demon disc was only a fifth tribulation divine artifact. The suppression of the fifth grade divine essence was not that great, and it practically had no effect on it. Timo and the others were devoured by the devilish energy and disappeared. After that, Timo's voice came from the clouds and was sent in all directions. We have the devilish energy of the heavenly cloud demon formation covering us. You won't be able to find us. Previously, it was because the demon energy of the heavenly cloud demon formation hadn't been fully activated that you were able to sense our attack. But now… The true gods laughed coldly from all directions. Maximus's divine soul surged out, and indeed, he was unable to discover anything. Under the observation of his divine soul, the heavenly cloud demonic formation only contained devilish energy in a chaotic mess. In the outside world, the moment the formation was activated, Telamon took out a formation disk as well. The disk floated in midair, and devilish energy surged out, turning into a pitch-black energy screen. He stared at it and muttered to himself, Kid, let me see just how capable you are to become a fourth tribulation true god in less than a hundred years. Within the heavenly cloud demonic formation, the first to attack were the third calamity true gods. As the leaders of the major powers, Timo and the others were extremely cautious and stood back. As they approached, Maximus's divine soul could only detect a few signs of life. He dodged rather awkwardly. At the same time, he counterattacked. Divine Flame Battle Fist! Divine Flame Battle Seal! Golden Immortal Nirvana Finger! Golden Immortal Myriad Dragon Palm! The Divine Flame Battle Fist and Golden Immortal Nirvana Finger were ineffective in this context. Only large-scale attacks like the Divine Flame War Seal and Golden Immortal 10,000 Dragon Palm would have any impact. This was a whole different level of combat. Inside the Heavenly Cloud Demonic Formation, the flames were raging, occasionally making loud rumbles. Timo and the other three who were hiding in the dark were quietly observing everything, waiting for Maximus to deliver the fatal blow. Timo stated faintly, Even with this demon energy covering him, this kid can still detect movement. He is indeed not average. I'm afraid this kid's divine soul is of an extremely high grade. Otherwise, he wouldn't have such a shocking perception faculty even amid the heavenly cloud demon formation. He discovered that he had underestimated Maximus. Huh, that's because those old fellows are too weak. They only have third tribulation true god internal strength bases. If we, the four tribulation true gods, were to attack, that brat definitely wouldn't be able to detect anything. Even if he did, he wouldn't be able to react in time," the Stone family head interjected. If that's the case, why don't you give it a try, brother? The Bunshaft family head chimed in. Why not? The Stone family head sneered. Under the cover of demon energy, the Stone family head slowly approached Maximus. When he saw that Maximus was still there, a cold look flashed across his eyes, and he immediately attacked. 
Unbreakable steel fist, he shouted, striking out with his right palm. This punch contained an extremely strong energy. He was confident one strike would be enough to send Maximus flailing through the air. But when he focused again, he saw Maximus staring straight back at him with a confident expression. How is this possible? The Stone family's head's face was filled with shock. Could it be that Maximus could see him? At this moment, the Stone family patriarch also noticed something strange on Maximus's forehead. It was the Golden Immortal Pupil. As the Golden Immortal physique had reached the peak of intermediate stage, the grade of the Golden Immortal Pupil was infinitely close to the medium-class upper-grade divine skill. When Maximus deployed it, he could contend with any fifth tribulation true god. From the beginning, Maximus knew that his Golden Immortal Eye was the natural enemy of the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation but he didn't reveal this trump card until the perfect moment. The Divine Flame Battle Body, Golden Immortal Physique, and Purple Black Fire merged into it. Maximus instantly turned into a flaming war god as he stood on a cloud. The purple flames around his body made the demon energy stay away from him. Fusion! Divine Flame Battle Fist! He screamed. The quality of Maximus's divine essence had reached the fifth grade. By relying on the high quality of his divine essence and using the divine flame battle fist, which was fused with the purple black fire, he produced a power that exceeded the fourth tribulation. However, it was still a distance away from reaching the fifth calamity true god realm. This was enough to deal with the stone family patriarch for his divine skill. The Unbreakable Steel Fist was only a low-grade, medium-class divine skill. His combat strength was thus far from Maximus's. As a result, when the two fists collided, the purple flame was like a Warcraft creature that could devour people. It opened its ferocious fangs and swallowed the Stone Family Patriarch in an instant. The Patriarch let out a miserable cry, and his entire body turned into ashes. The bout had ended so quickly that Timo had not had time to react. Maximus took advantage of the opportunity to chase after them. Fusion! Golden Immortal Myriad Dragon Palm! He shouted. Purple flames sprayed out, turning into energy dragons that roared as they lunged at Timo and the other three. Maximus's divine soul could be compared to a fifth grade divine soul through his Golden Immortal Eye. However, it was only a low fifth grade divine soul, so there was a limit to how much he could see through it. At most, he could only see a gray silhouette, but he couldn't see any detail. Therefore, he had to seize the initiative, or else he would fall into a bitter battle sooner or later. His four opponents began to struggle to make sense of what they were witnessing. Oh no! This kid can see through us! Damn it! How could such a thing happen? Quickly, make a move! The four of them were shocked. Maximus was able to see their precise locations without being affected by the demon energy. Timo was cursing in his heart, now profoundly disappointed in the formation disc. Timo, Bratislav, the Peel family head, and the Bunshaft family head all used their ultimate skills. Chaotic World Heavenly Demon Slaughter! Giant Wing Hurricane Slash! Dawn Ice Spitting Palm! Golden Light Shattering Fist! However, out of the four of them, only Teemo's attack was powerful enough to make an impact. Thousands of purple fire dragons collided with the demon claw formed from black energy, the giant sword transformed from a hurricane, and the giant ice blue fist that looked like a pure manifestation of light. In an instant, purple, black, cyan, and ice blue lights shot out from the inside of the heavenly cloud demonic formation, which shook violently. Maximus kept stepping back, his face now pale. All except Timo were severely injured, and they went flying backward, gasping for breath. He's injured! Quickly kill him! Timo shouted the moment he took note of Maximus's pale face. 
Maximus's strength had far exceeded Timo's expectations. If he wanted to win, he had to seize this rare moment at which Maximus was vulnerable. The numerous Third Tribulation true gods all came back to their senses and attacked without caring about the fear in their hearts. There were so many of them, and their opponent's face was pale. It seemed like a sure bet. When Maximus saw this, a look of disdain appeared on his face. With a wave of his sleeve, the five Warcraft beasts appeared. Their terrifying auras caused Maximus's opponents to freeze in fear. This was especially true for the Red Skylark, whose internal strength base exceeded even Teemo's. Putting aside the fact that he had released the five beasts, Maximus had also secretly released his Pear Blossom Needle. The Pear Blossom Needle was like a fish that had just found water after a long drought. It was writhing with excitement. A mournful cry immediately resounded throughout the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation. What exactly is going on? Timo was both shocked and furious. When he focused his gaze, he saw the needles practicing their dark arts, causing profound pain for his peers. When the divine needles flew out again from a distance, there was no longer any sound. Timo's eyes widened and his body shivered. How, how can there be such a dastardly divine artifact? When one of the needles pointed at Timo, he subconsciously let out a terrified roar. You don't, don't you dare! Timo's expression was ridiculous, but he couldn't laugh at all. Death wasn't scary, but if he died in such a shameful manner, he would die with everlasting regret. Maximus communicated with the Pear Blossom Needle with his divine soul. Come back, he commanded. Leave these Fourth Calamity true gods to the Red Skylark and the others. Your mission is to deal with the Third Calamity true gods. The Pear Blossom Needle was merely a newly advanced Fourth Calamity divine artifact, but it could quickly and efficiently eliminate a Third Calamity true god with one strike. It made sense to distribute the responsibilities in this way. Further, since it was a divine tool for sneak attacks, the Pear Blossom Needle truly had a great deal of potential. Maximus couldn't bear to see it damaged. All right, all right. The Pear Blossom Needle hesitated for a long time before finally agreeing reluctantly. Without the threat of the Pear Blossom Needle, Timo heaved a huge sigh of relief. However, his expression quickly turned stern as he remembered that now he would have to face the powerful Warcraft creatures. Bratislav and the other two came to Timo's side, suppressing their injuries. Each of them looked at the five beasts in shock. This guy, he actually has five powerful Warcraft creatures. If I knew this earlier, I would have... Bratislav's began, but he was too anxious to finish his thought. It's just five beasts. What's there to be afraid of? Timo chimed in, pretending to be calm. The moment the word beast was said, the five Warcraft creatures became enraged. The flames around the Red Skylark's body were burning like a miniature sun, and the energy in the heavenly cloud demon formation couldn't even get close to it. Given her internal strength base and bloodline, the Sparrow could easily defeat a Fifth Tribulation true god. As for the other Warcraft creatures, even though their internal strength bases and bloodlines couldn't compare to the Red Skylark, they could use their divine abilities to reach the very edge of the Fifth Tribulation. In other words, they too posed tremendous threats as opponents. When the five Warcraft beasts clashed with Teemo and the other three, the humans could immediately feel their terrifying strength. Damn it! The bloodline of these beasts is really strong, Timo blurted as his heart turned cold. How could he defend against such creatures? The phantom thunder leopard roared furiously. A bolt of lightning containing the power of destruction descended from the sky and struck the Peel Patriarch's body in an instant. He tried his best to freeze himself in the ice to resist the lightning. However, when the lightning and ice collided, the ice didn't even have the ability to resist it. It turned into a puddle. After that, the lightning struck the Peel Patriarch right in the chest. 
he didn't even have time to scream before he was reduced to ashes. The flying six-tailed cat's six tails were like the arms of a many-armed flaming giant. Every time it swung its tail, it posed a great threat to Timo and the others. The Bunshaft family head was hit by a few fire tails and was instantly swallowed by the flames. In the blink of an eye, out of the five overlords of Divine Might City, only Timo and Bratislav were left. Bratislav had collapsed. This was a completely one-sided situation. None of them had the strength to fight back. He was in a sorry state as he began begging. Brother, Brother Alexei, this is all a misunderstanding. I was wrong. I shouldn't have been fooled by a traitor. You bastard, Timo spat back in utter rage. Maximus remained unmoved. Since they had already made their decisions, they had to bear the consequences. Besides, Maximus knew Bratislav too well. Even if he was begging for mercy now, down the line, he would not hesitate. Rosalina will never forgive you, Bratislav shouted, still convinced that Maximus was in love with his daughter. Maximus said coldly, putting aside the fact that I have nothing to do with Rosalina and have no interest in her romantically, do you really expect me to believe you care about Rosalina's happiness? What? Bratislav was stunned. The other party had nothing to do with his daughter, so why had he been willing to become a guest chamberlain of the Sardinia family? Timo, meanwhile, no longer felt the need to protect Bratislav or hide anything from him. He declared, This kid has ascended from the lower realm. He must have found some way to understand our divine world. Your Sardinia family merely experienced a stroke of luck that he chose you. An ascender from the lower plains? Radislav took a deep breath as he repeated the sensational news. An ascender from the lower plane. If it were an ordinary ascender, it would have been fine. But after his advancement to the fourth tribulation true god in such a short period of time, even an idiot would know that this person had a bright future ahead of him. He would probably become an ancient god. Thinking about the fact that he had pushed an ancient god to the opposite side, Bratislav's eyes turned red as he stared at Timo. It was all because of this person that he had acted in such an irrational manner. You, you, Bratislav pointed at Timo, his face filled with anger. Timo looked back at Bratislav with a sneer. You deserve each other, Maximus lashed out. Then he went on. Red Skylark, attack! The five beasts were eyeing them covetously, causing the pressure on Timo and Bratislav to increase. Although they didn't like each other, they had no choice but to work together in the face of the five beasts. As for the other three tribulation true gods, Many of them had been eliminated by the Pear Blossom Needles. The few survivors now rushed toward Maximus in a desperate attempt to gain the upper hand. Divine Flame Seal! Maximus shouted. As soon as the Battle Seal was unleashed, it instantly enveloped the incoming Third Tribulation True Gods. With just one strike, they were completely crushed. By now, eliminating a third tribulation true god was as easy as stomping on an ant for Maximus. In the outside world, Telamon pondered for a moment. Then he waved his hand, and five human-shaped dummies that looked exactly like the real person appeared in front of him. That kid is too calm. He must have a deeper level trump card. I really didn't expect to have to do this. But it looks like I must intervene, Telamon commented, shaking his head. I hope you won't disappoint me this time. He pointed his finger, and five dummies instantly shot toward the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation. Within the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation, Timo was shocked to see the attack of the five Warcraft creatures suddenly blocked.
This must be Senior Brother Telemon's work, Timo declared, overjoyed. The technique Telemon had used to create these five automatons was extremely rare, and so it was a clear sign of his presence when they appeared. Although the process of refinement was difficult, once it had been completed, these automatons would possess all the abilities of a true god when they were alive. It was equivalent to having extra super powerful fighters. Indeed, these automatons could be considered genuine fifth tribulation true god experts. Even if the Warcraft creatures fought with all their might, they wouldn't be able to overcome them easily. Apart from Skylark, who was engaged in a fierce battle, the other four beasts were at a disadvantage. Bratislav sensed the change in the tides of power and desperately stated, I hope you'll forgive me for offending you earlier, City Lord Timo. Timo had a faint smile on his face. He did not answer Bratislav, nor did he reveal that in fact Telamon had several other trump cards up his sleeve. This was something that even Maximus could not have predicted. After all, the Demonic Valley was quite far from Divine Might City. There was no way that Telamon could simply appear there in an instant. These were clearly automatons, but Timo wasn't going to give away the secret just like that. If it was before, Timo would have thought that Maximus wouldn't be able to escape even if he had wings. However, after witnessing Maximus's true combat strength and the trump cards of the five Warcraft creatures, he didn't dare to underestimate him anymore. Now, it seemed like Maximus was in a disadvantageous position, but who knew what other means he had? In the end, Timo was still afraid. The image of the pear blossom needles was fresh in his mind after all. Seeing the four beasts gradually falling into a disadvantageous position, Maximus knew that he needed to help. Timo and Bratislav clearly understood the state of affairs, so they quickly stopped Maximus. They launched their strongest attacks. Chaotic World Heavenly Demon Slaughter! Giant Wing Hurricane Slash! Maximus countered. Fusion! Divine Flame Battle Fist! The purple flames were raging. Timo and Bratislav kept retreating. Maximus's expression turned serious. Bratislav was fine with this. Timo was indeed not an opponent that could be easily defeated. His combat strength had exceeded the fourth tribulation true god realm, and his internal strength base was at the peak of the fourth tribulation. Maximus's expression was stern. He raised his head and let out a long roar toward the sky. The roar rolled and turned into a sky-shaking dragon roar. Four wings, profound dragon transformation, condense! A thousand-foot-long profound dragon appeared in the heavenly cloud demon formation. The demon energy was dispersed by the powerful energy before it could even get close. The Black Dragon had been formed purely from Divine Essence. There was a hexagonal crystal shaped like a divine eye on its forehead. Maximus's body was within that crystal. At this moment, Maximus felt that he was the Black Dragon, and the Black Dragon was him. When he attacked, the Black Dragon waved its claws without any discordance. Feeling the surging energy in his body, he let out a long roar once again and the profound dragon let out the same roar, only amplified. The dragon suddenly attacked Timo and Bratislav from the sky. With a sweep of its tail, they were sent flying through the air at such a velocity they felt they would be ripped apart. Maximus had already cultivated the four-winged profound dragon transformation to a high level, and it wasn't any weaker than the medium-class upper-grade divine skill. In fact, it was one of the strongest skills with that designation. Even so, the power of this claw and tail had already surpassed the Divine Flame Battle Fist that was fused with the Purple Black Fire, though not by much. Bratislav spread out his huge green wings and flapped them, sending out wind blades that were akin to a hurricane. The Black Dragon Claw did not dodge at all and allowed the green wind blades to hit it continuously. 
Although there were a lot of wind blades, none of them could cut through the black dragon claw. No! Bratislav's eyes were filled with despair. He had sustained one serious injury after another, and he no longer had the ability to dodge. Timo, meanwhile, could only look on helplessly as his former ally was torn to pieces. Damn it! He cursed. What would he do now that he was facing Maximus alone? It was getting harder and harder for Timo to dodge, and he was getting more and more embarrassed. Maximus sighed in his heart. In the end, Timo was a peak fourth tribulation true god, and he was also a Demonic Valley sect member. With his current strength, it would be difficult to take him down in a short period of time. At the same time, the four Warcraft creatures were struggling with the automatons. Only the Red Skylark had clearly gained the upper hand. Timo could also see the current situation, and a joyful expression appeared on his face. As long as he could hold on for a while longer, victory was right in front of him. Maximus smiled coldly, as if he were dreaming a lovely dream. The dragon roar shook the sky. The purple-black fire shot out from Maximus's energy center and quickly merged into his profound dragon transformation. The 100-foot-tall black dragon suddenly increased by 200 feet. Its body became bigger and bigger, and it began to look like a monumental purple flame. It swung its tail at Timo with unprecedented speed. At the same time, the purple-black fire absorbed Timo's divine energy for its own uses. Putting aside the fact that Timo's attack was inferior to Maximus's, no doubt Timo would succumb to the purple-black fire sooner or later. Chaotic world, heavenly demon slaughter! Timo shouted. But it was too late. In the next moment, he was struck by the dragon tail and sent flying as he gasped for air. But Timo was shocked. He could still defend himself from the tail earlier, but now he was in such a pathetic state. Damn it! This guy was hiding his true strength before this. With his current strength, there's no way I can fight him. He paused for effect, then screamed. You forced me to do this! Heavenly demon soul absorption technique! He roared. The remaining divinity of all the experts who had died in the heavenly cloud demon formation was instantly absorbed by him. Maximus used his golden immortal eye to scan the surroundings. He saw a special whirlpool of energy rippling out of Timo's body, absorbing the precious resources around it. Maximus looked at the other party in shock. Heavenly demon soul absorption technique? What kind of ultimate technique was that? Under the golden immortal eye, the whirlpool around Timo's body became bigger and bigger, rolling like an ominous cloud, absorbing all the remaining divinity in its midst. Instinct told Maximus that this wasn't a big deal. However, just as he was about to get closer, he found that his divine soul had become unstable. He was shocked and immediately retreated. At this time, the whirlpool around Timo's body had started to withdraw. As it did, Timo's internal strength base started to fluctuate. From the peak of the Fourth Tribulation True God realm, he had suddenly jumped to the limit of the Fourth Tribulation. In the end, he even surpassed this level altogether. At this moment, Timo's eyes were scarlet red, and his body was overflowing with devilish energy. He didn't look like a human at all, but rather a demon. Timo kept roaring and staring at Maximus with his terrified eyes. Luckily, he hasn't broken through to the Fifth Tribulation True God Realm, Maximus commented as he heaved a sigh of relief. Yet even if Timo broke through to the Fifth Tribulation True God Realm, it wasn't like Maximus couldn't win. After all, Maximus still had three trump cards the mysterious god sword, nine python fire controlling flag, and the nine flames fire tower. You have forced me to this point. You will die for sure, Timo seethed. His aura was incomparably brutal, and like a monstrous wave, it pressed down on Maximus. In the outside world, Telamon was clicking his tongue as he spoke. 
My junior brother has been forced into a dead end. He even used the heavenly demon soul-absorbing grand technique. This will have irreversible effects. In the future, he will be half human and half automaton. Speaking of Timo's current fate, though, Telamon didn't feel any pity. The relationship between the Demonic Valley brothers was based on benefits. There really wasn't any filial love. Telamon only wanted to use Timo to force Maximus to his limit. And now, it was clear Maximus was near this point. Within the Heavenly Cloud Demon formation, Timo, who had transformed into a half-human and half-automaton, suddenly attacked. Chaotic World Heavenly Demon Slaughter! He shouted. Demon energy rolled around, and it carried a blood-red light. It turned into a huge devilish orb and flew toward Maximus, who had transformed into a black dragon. The black dragon was huge, but the demon energy orb was even more massive. No matter how hard the black dragon struggled, it could not gain the upper claw. At this moment, the purple-black fire clashed with the devilish energy, and a sizzling sound was heard. After that point, it was clear to the naked eye that the devilish energy had been diminished. Hmm? Timo mused to himself. His strength had increased tremendously. Initially, he was confident that he could kill Maximus, but he didn't expect this to be the result. There's something strange about this purple flame, Timo uttered as his heart sank. As a matter of fact, the purplish black fire had absorbed Timo's divine essence before. It was just that the attack of Maximus, who had transformed into a black dragon at that time, was already powerful. Timo didn't have the time to pay attention to anything else because of the suppression. However, it was different now. The black dragon flapped its four wings and charged at Timo. His expression was ferocious. He threatened. Do you really think that you can do whatever you want just because of the purple flame? This time, the demon energy turned into a massive column, directed straight at the body of the black dragon. The purple flame immediately separated from the body of the black dragon and swept out, wrapping around the demonic column, which was swallowed up in the flame. Due to the power of the column, the body of the profound dragon finally collapsed and turned into nothingness. Only Maximus, whose face was slightly pale, was left floating on the spot. While Maximus's face was pale, Timo was not in a good position either. The purple-black fire had absorbed the devilish energy and fed it back to him, making it even more powerful. After that, the purple-black fire attacked Timo. No matter how Timo tried to dodge it, he was unsuccessful. However, at this moment, Maximus heard a miserable cry. The phantom thunder leopard was no longer able to support itself. The automaton took the opportunity to injure it severely. Maximus's expression became anxious, and he couldn't be bothered about anything else. In an instant, a clone mysterious god sword appeared in his hand. Grand Mysterious Sky Spirit Slash! He screamed. The power of the sixth Grand Mysterious Sky Spirit Slash couldn't be compared to the power of the four winged profound dragon used with the purple black fire. However, the power of the Mysterious God Sword extended beyond this one move. With the enhancement of the blade itself, even if the sixth level of the Grand Mysterious Sky Spirit Slash was only equivalent to a medium-class, upper-grade divine skill, its sheer force was incredible, comparable to an upper-class divine skill. And mind you, this was a clone Mysterious Sword. If Maximus held a Mysterious God Sword that had already reached the level of a Ninth Tribulation Divine Weapon, its power would only be greater. The shocking slash was like a bright lamp in the dark night. It instantly cut into the devilish energy. Timo had just gotten rid of the purple-black fire, but before he could heave a sigh of relief, his face turned pale with fright. No! By the time he said the word, 
The grand, mysterious Sky Spirit Slash had already hit Teemo. No matter how much Teemo's internal strength base increased, he felt his body succumbing. Sixth Tribulation Divine Weapon! Telamon blurted as he stood up, his eyes burning with passion. A Sixth Tribulation Divine Artifact was something that not even Telamon, who was a Sixth Tribulation True God, possessed. Nor could he go home to obtain such a weapon. As a result, the man surnamed King's Heart burned with desire. He looked at the mysterious God Sword in Maximus's hand, his face filled with desire. I want this Six Tribulations Divine Sword, Telamon declared to no one in particular. He obviously didn't know that the Six Tribulations Divine Sword was only a clone of the real Divine Sword. In the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation, Maximus had gotten rid of Teemo and immediately went to help, of course, the Phantom Thunder Leopard. The Pear Blossom Needle also wanted to help, but it was stopped by Maximus for it would be useless against an automaton. Grand Mysterious Sky Spirit Slash! Maximus shouted. He struck out with his sword. The Phantom Thunder Leopard took this opportunity to firmly grab the automaton, not giving it the chance to fight back. This slash landed on the automaton's body. However, the opponent had reached the early Fifth Calamity True God realm, and it was able to use its ultimate technique. Its strength was thus formidable, even by 5th level standards. Although the power of Maximus's sword had reached the level of a 5th Calamity True God, it was impossible for him to severely injure the automaton with one strike. A 6th Tribulation Divine Artifact? Looks like it's still a bit too low, Maximus commented to himself as he took a deep breath. The clone Mysterious God Sword in his hand was immediately replaced by a true mysterious god sword. When this true divine blade was unleashed, a shocking sword force soared into the sky. It was as if the blade had grown to the size of a skyscraper. The heavenly cloud demon formation, a mighty divine weapon of the fifth tribulation realm, was actually trembling continuously under this sword's aura. It seemed like it might collapse at any moment. The sword energy shot out and engulfed Maximus. At this moment, Maximus looked incomparably threatening. Grand Mysterious Sky Spirit Slash! He shouted. This was the same move, but it was several times stronger than before, even though Maximus was not able to use the full power of the Divine Blade. Break! Maximus roared out. The earth-shattering sword light instantly struck the automaton's body. In order to stop the dummy from dodging, the Phantom Thunder Leopard was also within the attack range of the Sword Light. Even though the Leopard managed to dodge in time at the last moment, it was still affected by the Sword Light. Countless wounds appeared on its body, and it howled in pain. Maximus's expression changed. He put the Phantom Thunder Leopard back into the animal containment space and only after the sword light had completely dissipated did he summon it back to his side. The automaton on the other side of the battle arena had indeed been seriously injured, and its combat strength had been dramatically reduced. How could Maximus and the Phantom Thunder Leopard let go of this rare opportunity? They were going to chase after it while it was down. This time, the grand mysterious Sky Spirit Slash unleashed by Maximus was only around the fifth stage. But such an attack was more than enough. In the outside world, Telamon was so shocked that he couldn't speak. He searched for his words. Nine! Nine Tribulations Divine Sword! It's actually the Nine Tribulations Divine Sword! What virtue and ability does this kid possess to have such a divine weapon? His eyes turned red with envy. In the great sects of the Eastern region, such treasures would only be owned by warriors at the ninth level. Telamon could not help but fantasize. Ha ha ha! The heavens truly favor me! 
with a divine artifact like this, my status in the Demonic Valley will not just increase a little. With a higher status, the resources I can enjoy will also increase greatly. In the future, I might even be able to advance to the Ninth Tribulation True God and become an Overlord of the Cloud Prefecture. At this point, Maximus had joined forces with the Phantom Thunder Leopard to rescue the Flying Flame Lion. In terms of strength, the lion wasn't much stronger than the leopard. However, the lion's luck was pretty good. The automaton it faced wasn't as strong as the one faced by its peer. Therefore, it wasn't as badly injured. He quickly defeated the automaton. After that, Gurgen and Cosimo also experienced victories with Maximus's help. In the end, only the Red Skylark's automaton was left. This entity's strength had already reached the middle stage of the Fifth Tribulation True God Realm. Otherwise, the Skylark would have been able to eliminate it quickly. However, no matter how strong it was, it was still defeated by the combined attack of the human and five beasts. Telamon calmly watched all of this. As a high-level true god of the Sixth Tribulation, he still felt confident he could wipe out the group. Further, he knew Maximus and the Warcraft creatures had exhausted themselves mentally and physically in this last endeavor. This was an ideal time to strike. Maximus's tired spirit would definitely relax the moment the matter was over. This would be the time for him to make his move. Grand Mysterious Sky Spirit Slash! Maximus shouted. Six layers of power erupted, and a heaven-shaking sword light slashed into the rolling demon energy. The heavenly cloud demon formation was shattered within a few seconds. The man and five beasts were able to see the light of day once more. At this moment, Maximus heaved a sigh of relief. But in the next instant, a strong sense of danger rose from the bottom of his heart. The wind and clouds in the sky above the Sardinia family territory surged, and in the next moment, a huge, pitch-black, devilish energy orb slammed down. Not good! Maximus was shocked. There had clearly been an enemy outside of the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation all along. Furthermore, this enemy gave him a feeling of suffocation. The devilish energy orb came too fast, so fast that Maximus almost couldn't react in time. Subconsciously, he cast the four-winged Profound Dragon transformation and fled. But even so, the Black Energy Ball hit the Profound Dragon. The dragon was like an earthworm in the face of this force. The purple golden light flashed and vanished instantly. It swept Maximus away at an even faster speed and finally escaped from the range of the huge energy orb. When the orb landed, one-fifth of the Sardinia family territory was destroyed in an instant. Divine Might City began to shake violently. Countless experts were startled, then looked at the scene in horror. Maximus, this opponent is a Sixth Tribulation True God, and he's at the peak! Lord Flame shouted anxiously. A peak Sixth Tribulation True God? Maximus sucked in a breath of cold air. With his current internal strength base, he could contend with some early Fifth Tribulation True Gods. But against a Sixth Tribulation True God, he was helpless. This aura, it seems to be similar to Teemo's. Could it be a Demonic Valley expert? Why would a Demonic Valley expert be here? Maximus mused aloud. Although he was puzzled, Maximus did not forget that he had to escape as soon as possible. It was not the time to think about any questions that he didn't understand. <laughs> Escape? A mocking voice rang out. In the sky, dense black clouds rolled. A mere fourth tribulation true god wanted to run away in front of a sixth tribulation true god? Demonic energy surged, and another huge energy orb hurled toward Maximus. It was a massive and shocking attack. The experts of Divine Might City were all panicked. With such an attack, it would only take two or three times for their entire settlement to be destroyed. 
golden immortal step! Maximus shouted, again attempting to flee. The golden immortal step allowed Maximus's speed to increase by a whole level. With the help of the Nine Flames Fire Tower, a purple golden light rippled out and wrapped around Maximus. Thus, his speed increased once again, and he barely managed to dodge the huge black energy orb this time. A large number of buildings were destroyed, but no one dared to resist. They could only watch silently. They had never felt this kind of power before. They were simply bewildered. Once again, Maximus escaped. A cold and angry snort came from the dark cloud. Ha! In the next moment, the black cloud turned into a black light and chased after Maximus. Its speed was extremely fast, and the distance between it and Maximus was shortened in an instant. Maximus, the enemy is getting closer and closer! Lord Flame became anxious. Maximus was also anxious, but what was the use of this? The gap between them would not shrink because of his anxiety. Hand over the divine sword and I'll spare your life! The voice of Telamon came from the dark cloud. Only now did Maximus understand that this demonic valley expert probably knew about what had happened inside the heavenly cloud demon formation. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to reference the divine mysterious sword. Looks like my guess is wrong. The heavenly cloud demon formation likely belongs to this demonic valley expert, not Timo, Maximus thought to himself. Although Maximus understood everything, he still couldn't figure out how the demonic valley expert had managed to rush over from the demonic valley in one night and one afternoon, unless he was nearby from the beginning. Maximus continued to flee at a high speed. He wasn't a fool, and he wasn't willing to hand over the mysterious god sword. Even if he did, the other party would never let him go. When Telamon began to register this, he couldn't help but feel enraged. A cold laugh rang out. Terrifying demon energy gathered and turned into all kinds of attacks that crazily surged toward Maximus, who was barely able to dodge them. After a long time, Maximus could see that the opponent was playing tricks on him. Or it should be said that the opponent thought that they could take him down. That was why they used such a method to humiliate him. Naturally, Maximus was extremely furious. What should we do? Maximus uttered. The gap between him and a sixth tribulation true god expert was just too great. He was at a loss. Even with the Nine Pythons Fire Flag and Nine Flames Fire Tower, he didn't have the confidence to fight such a super expert. If the opponent was only a Sixth Tribulation True God, there might still be a chance for him to turn the tables. But this person was at the peak. Oh right! The Great Cloud Sacred Hall! Maximus shouted, his eyes lighting up. He could always hide there. The Grey Cloud Divine Hall was definitely not something that a Sixth Calamity True God could discover. Meanwhile, Telamon continued toying with Maximus. Each attack was only slightly stronger than Maximus's. He looked at his opponent in a mocking manner as the opponent dodged. In the next moment, he realized that Maximus had suddenly disappeared. What? He blurted in a tone of fury. The demonic energy dissipated revealing a young man with a slightly pale face. The man stepped on the black cloud with an enraged expression. Impossible! Why did he disappear without a trace for no reason? Telamon spat out. His level six spirit gushed out crazily. Everything around him was reflected in the spirit and was known by the spirit. But even so, Telamon still couldn't find any trace of Maximus. In the Grey Cloud Divine Palace, meanwhile, Maximus still seemed able to sense the sixth grade divine soul outside. The feeling of being stared at made his scalp tingle. Maximus's divine soul was close to the fifth grade, but the gap between the fifth grade and the sixth grade was like an abyss. After a long time, Maximus could feel the anger of the sixth grade divine soul. He muttered, This is too terrifying. So this is what it feels like 
to be in the presence of an expert that is only a step away from becoming a high-grade true god? I have a feeling that even if I use the Nine Pythons Fire Flag, I will still be defeated. The Nine Pythons Fire Flag was indeed a Chaos Divine tool, but now Maximus could only use a small portion of its power. This power gave Maximus the confidence to fight against a mid to high level true god of the Fifth Tribulation, but he had no confidence in fighting someone like Telamon. Now, he didn't even dare to use his divine soul, afraid that he would attract the attention of the other party. Fortunately, Lord Flame's senses were not discovered by the other party. Has he left? Maximus asked for a while. He's gone! Lord Flame declared with relief. He was also frightened. At the same time, he thanked his lucky stars for the Grey Cloud Divine Palace. What about the soul? Maximus asked again. I didn't sense his divine soul either, Lord Flame explained. Upon hearing this, Maximus cautiously walked out of the Flying Temple. After that, he covered his aura and flew away. Wait! Maximus suddenly stopped. He frowned and pondered. It seems like this person is determined to get the mysterious god sword. Why would they give up so easily? Oh no! Maximus thought about Rosalina and Lemmy, who were in the Sardinia family territory. Then he became anxious. He now thought of the two young people as friends, and he never would forgive himself if something happened to them. Lord Flame knew what Maximus was thinking and quickly stopped him, advising, No! The other party is a Sixth Tribulation true god. You are simply walking into a trap. Furthermore, this is only a guess. Maybe the opponent really left. No, Maximus shook his head, then said with a solemn expression, I have a feeling that the appearance of this Demonic Valley expert isn't as straightforward as it seems. The reason why he wants to capture me isn't just to help his junior brother. Otherwise, Tima wouldn't have died so easily in my hands in the Heavenly Cloud Demon Formation. Even if he wanted to snatch the Divine Sword, there was no need to watch him die. Although it's a bit absurd to say that, I have a feeling that his target was me from the beginning. How is that possible? You didn't defend the Demonic Valley, Lord Flame declared, trying to sound reassuring. Maximus smiled bitterly before adding, I know I am overthinking it. However, I am not afraid of what might happen. What if the target was really me from the beginning? If that's the case, the other party would not easily give up. Lemmy and Rosalina would be used by the other party to threaten and lure me. I need to rescue them, now! Lord Flame was silent. He knew Maximus's reasoning on this matter was sound. Indeed, the only people he cared about in the divine world at this point were Rosalina and Lemmy.